In this program, we're going to learn about the laws of science. A scientific law is a concise but general statement about how nature behaves. Scientific law is different than judicial law. Judicial laws are prescriptive. They tell us how people should behave. Scientific laws are descriptive. They tell us how nature does behave. Consider Archimedes' principle, a scientific law that tells us that an immersed object is buoyed up or pushed upwards by a force equal to the weight of the fluid it displaces. So if you dropped an ice cube in a glass of water, you'll notice that the level of the water rises, and so does the ice cube. That is because the ice cube is buoyed upward by a force equal to the weight of the water that is displaced and caused to rise. For a statement to be classified as a scientific law, it must prove to be experimentally valid over a wide range of observed phenomena. For example, metal ships float because they have enough empty space whereby their density is less than the density of the water. Archimedes principle and hot air balloons fly because their average density is less than the density of the air around them. That's Archimedes' principle in action, too. Archimedes' principle is a scientific law. It describes the way that nature behaves within a specific set of circumstances and is true time and time again, despite variables. It is possible for a law to be in the form of a relationship or equation between quantities. For instance, Newton's second law of motion, F equals MA. The law states that an object's force is equal to its mass times its acceleration. A scientific law is a concise but general statement about the way nature behaves. It must continue to be experimentally valid over a wide range of observed phenomenon. However, scientific laws, like scientific theories, are to be questioned. Anything that is considered true today might not be true tomorrow. As time goes on, there are innovations and discoveries that allow us to see the world in a different light. We learn more. As new information arrives, some laws may have to be changed or dismissed entirely. Now that you know more about scientific laws, think about this. What kind of evidence would it take to change a scientific law? Think about it.